Welcome back. We're talking to Eric Wallace here, who's a very talented artist in the Aspen Grove Fine Arts Gallery, and who brought with him some of his beautiful images, which will be on display in the gallery um, before and after the opening. And those, uh, the, the evenings when you're going to be in, in the gallery serving wine and showing people your formidable painterly skills, are Thursday and Friday, mm -hmm. right? What are the hours? Uh, I believe it's from four to nine, so it's a pretty wide, mm -hmm. Great. wide open. Okay, so. and we're talking about the um, twenty what twenty uh, eighth and 29th? Right. I think. Yeah. So um, let's be uh, Alina. Let's start showing some of these images, what, and we then we can talk about them and and uh, give people an example. What do we have here? Uh, this is Mount Wilson, uh, near Telluride, ah. and uh, in the fall. Uh -huh. Lots of aspen. Yes. Yeah, it's a big painting too. That so it's a. Uh, I know it's hard to tell 60, on television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So four feet tall and five feet yeah, wide. Yeah. Almost five feet. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you're watching on a TV screen of that size, but oh, yeah. in case you're not. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, let's look at another one here. That's love. This one. That's great. And you're famous for your barns. Yeah, my barns. This mm -hmm. is a little barn just outside my studio. So this is an actual place, uh -huh. not from yeah. your imagination? Yep. Yeah. My flower garden in the backyard. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So, Eric, how long have you been painting? I've been painting since I was six years old. Get out this of here. This is um, just up the mountain. Here? Uh, here in Aspen. Oh. Uh, one of the gallery people took me up and we did that. And oh. my figurative work, which is I, is what I studied in college. So. Exactly. And a, a great um, combination, I think. The landscapes yeah. as well as the figurative pieces. San and, Juans. Oh, yeah. That's a big one, too. That's uh, 48 by 72. But you also work on small, and a lot of times the figurative pieces are smaller, right? Yeah. 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 This uh, one's 3040. Love lot. those reflections. Reflections, Japanese maple. Mm-hmm. Another barn by my studio where I live. One of my favorites to paint. You were telling me one time about how you work on those giant canvases with a system of pulleys. Oh yeah, yeah. Where so you counterweights so yeah. that I don't have to move. I just move the canvas around. I love <laughs> that idea. Yeah, this one was painted outside, and this one is kind of a compilation of Utah and uh, Colorado. The mountains came from Colorado and. And the little waterfall place where I go fishing a lot. So interesting that you can make a, a combination painting out of a couple of ideas from different places. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the thing that I love about when you come to the gallery is, and I alluded to this, is that you will be painting in the presence of people. Yes. So they are having a little sip of wine, a little bite of hors d'oeuvre, and there you are. A little oil paint on their shirt. <laughs> little, yeah, let me have a little dab of that yeah. on my canopy. Yeah. And, but it's so fun to see it, uh, see that creative process. Yeah, how it all comes together. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I'll be doing that this time too. We'll, fun. We'll set up and paint. Right. It's just great to, to watch it come to. My wife says it's like watching a magic show. You know what? It is very yeah. much like watching a magic show. It's just what I've been do doing all my life. So to me, it's just right. It's like breathing. So you learned to paint at your father's side. Yes. And uh, Kent Wallace is mm -hmm. a, a famous American mm -hmm. painter, mm -hmm. famous American impressionist. And um, you've got some children. Yes, I have five. My oldest is fourteen, and my youngest is three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all play with the paint. So. So you, you got just to never answer. know. Right. And you have a brother who does the framing for you, right? Yep. My brother's on a frame company. They make the museum quality uh, 22 karat gold highfalutin stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's great that there's this whole familial thing. Yeah. And we're all bunched up there in the same little art compound. And <laughs> I run next door for a frame and they come back and borrow it again because they've got someone else to sell it to. And right. You know, right. That kind of thing. That's great. And this Aspen connection, how long have you been showing in Aspen? Since about 95, I think. Yeah. So, That's yeah, a, we're yeah. going on 13 years. Yeah. Right. Great. And creating more and more art oh, yeah. and having more and more success. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. yeah. So, um, when you're painting in your studio, you're working sometimes from photographs? Yeah. Sometimes just from your imagination? Uh-huh. And, and uh, sometimes I go out on location. 
Uh, I also work with models who come into the studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I do enough painting that I need to photograph while I'm out there too, so that I have some things to do when it's dark. Because <laughs> I, I paint till 10 o'clock at night. And, do you really? Yeah. And what time do you start? Uh, usually around 10 in the morning. So A 12 hour yeah. painting day? I what take an hour lunch. But what does that do to you physically? Is, th is it hard to kind of? Uh, not yet. I, I think I'm young enough that I can handle it. So. Well, and and I idea, have all those pulleys and yeah, weights. I was yeah. thinking, I'll bet that t makes it less taxing yeah. on you. You're not on a yeah. ladder doing the, no, the sky no. while the uh, river dries. No. No. And typically, how many paintings are you working on at a time? Uh, I usually have uh, 10 or 12 going in the studio. And I just come in and see which one interests me that day and mm -hmm. put it up and finish and it And I've off. talked to your wife about the times where she's got something that's a favorite of yours and it's swept out from yeah. beneath her. Yeah. Yeah. So that must keep you painting, huh? Yeah. It's hard for her to let them go. Okay. I enjoy the process, not the product. So yeah. I can let them go, but uh, she has a harder time. That's understandable. Yeah. They're beautiful pieces of work and they're great um, tributes to you and your skills. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Come back and see us next I time. I will. <laughs> All right. And good luck with the show. I hope lots Thanks. of people come. Do definitely stop by the Aspen Grove Fine Arts Gallery, which is, uh, this show is in the courtyard location, or the upstairs, upstairs location. Yeah. And there's also a courtyard location at 525 East Cooper. And um, you can call them if you need some more information at 925-4296. Eric Wallace, skilled crafts person and amazing artist in the Aspen Grove Fine Arts Gallery. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in this week to Showcase Aspen. I'm Jeannie Walla. Stay tuned for more great programming on Channel 19 TV Aspen. Bye-bye. Showcase Aspen is brought to you by Aspen Grove Fine Arts Gallery, located at 525 East Cooper in Aspen, Colorado.